A huge sphere of 12.756 kilometers in radius is moving rapidly in the space in a speed of almost 68,000 miles per hour. It is called the Earth. The Earth is surrounded by an atmosphere of five layers, consisting of hydrogen, oxygen, and inert gases. At the same time, the Earth rotates around its axis at a thousand miles per hour. I will not speak about the greatness of the universe or the incredible galaxies, which the Earth looks like a speck of dust on the foothill of Everest in comparison to them. And I will not speak about the countless numbers of light years with endless zeros. I have heard a lot of talking from the atheists in the world. But the thing they say, and I did not understand until now, is that they do not believe in God because they cannot see Him. I do not know how they cannot see Him, while I can see the creation of God all the time, in every inch around me. Why does water have very unique properties in comparison to all other liquids? Why does Earth rotate in definite speed and in an accurate angle? Example, 23.5 degrees. Why is the sun located at such an enormous distance and has such high temperature? Why the atmosphere has certain components in specific measures? When you ponder on the answers to these questions, you will see the great creator revealing himself clearly. The earth rotates around its axis at a thousand miles per hour. Assuming that this speed decreases to 200 miles per hour, for instance, our night and day times would be 10 times longer. The temperature at the daytime would continue to increase till we burn, and the temperature at the night would continue to decrease until we freeze. Humans would not be able to organize their time, sleep, and work during the very long daylights or the darkness of night. All of the measures in this planet are regularized and adjusted for the benefits of one creature. The only creature that has a mind capable of understanding and realizing is there a message to us from the one who has created all this? Why the only liquid necessary for life is also the only liquid that decreases in density when it freezes and then it floats. If water was exactly like the rest of liquids in terms of characteristics, the seas, rivers and oceans would totally freeze and fish and animals of seas and oceans would die. Without the sun, we would not be able to live on this planet. It is a sterilizer and light. The temperature on the surface of the sun is 12,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and the distance between the sun and Earth is nearly 93 million miles. This enormous distance is constant. It never changes, whether to increase or decrease. If it decreases and the sun becomes nearer to the Earth, half of the distance, for example, the paper and wood will immediately burn. And if the distance increases to the double, the severe coldness which will happen because of the big distance will end life on Earth. If you realize these facts, you will also realize that there is a merciful Lord that organized such delicate, punctual messiahs on our planet in a system that suits us in a specific way to make our lives easy and smooth. This Earth rotates around the Sun in an angle of 23.5 degrees. This leads to the succession of seasons, and it also causes the suitability of the land for cultivation and housing. If Earth was not rotating in such accurate angle, the seasons would remain constant in every part of the Earth, and darkness would cover the two poles. The steam of seas will travel to the north and south. The snowy mountains will spread in some regions and the arid deserts in other regions. 
The only way to avoid this is the rotation of the Earth in the space in an angle of 23.5 degrees. If the atmosphere has less thickness or different components, the meteors that we see bright at night, moving in the space 90 times faster than the bullet, would have penetrated the atmosphere burning everything on Earth. The amazing thing is that the atmosphere only allows very nominal amounts of solar radiation important for the growth of plants, elimination of germs, and other needs for the Earth. Is nature capable of regulating all these specific measurements and definite dates to suit us? This balance of quantities needed for the life on Earth is very amazing. The air consists of six gases, 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. Why these gases were formed in such accurate percentages to be suitable to our lives and exactly as needed? If this existence was not under the dominance of a mighty, great, and wise creator, then why does it have such amazing, balanced soul? As if everything is just gathered to play a harmonious symphony. This symphony is only for us. The answer is quite simple. He is the ever-wise. He is the ever-magnificent. He is the ever-great. He is the ever-merciful. He is the omnipotent. He is the generous. He is the ever-affectionate. He is the ever-glorious, the eternal owner of sovereignty, the owner of majesty and bounty. He is Allah. Oh, oh, oh. 